George Bryan here with my daughter Mary Chandler and David Gray. We're at the Swing Balance Golf Lab. This is the second tutorial on the Swing Balance Laginator. And remember in the first, we talked about the idea of using the tool slowly. When you learn slowly, you learn correctly. And if you learn to do it correctly, it turns out better. So what we do is we want to control how and where we release the energy. So in this construct, the, re the storage on the backswing is indicated by a click. So we're just going to take a couple backswings. And the downswing release is reflected in the click. So we have the auditory feature. Our vestibular sensory system is stimulating. And if you want to improve and accelerate learning, just light up that vestibular sensory system. So we're going to start slow and I like to use a metronome and match up the clicks with the beats. Now this is on 90 beats a minute. Think about your favorite song. You can tune your phone, your metronome in to your favorite song and for this particular beat or this rhythm we're going to choose three for the backswing click and seven for the downswing click, which the clicks reflect energy storage and release. Three, two, one, swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're trying to release, control the energy storage. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to speed it up a little bit, now we go up to 120, 120, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this tool is a wonderful tool for attaching rhythm and tempo with the golf swing. And by using the metronome with the laginator, you can hum your favorite tune and make the, the clicks conform to what's in your head. For Mary Chandler and David, I'm George. Thanks for choosing the Laginator.